Hi everybody, welcome to the Sparkling Art Painting Party in a Bag demonstration video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the really fun bunny rabbit. I'm going to unwrap the Sparkling Art Painting Party in a Bag and show you step by step how I create my artwork. I'm Nitty Price and I create whimsical, vibrant and fun sparkling art. If you'd like to see more of my artwork, please go to nittyprice.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy, have fun. So here's the painting party in a bag. I'm gonna take off the ribbon and inside you will get a sparkling art magnet, an eight by 10 hard canvas, get directions, a paper plate, paper towel, and I'm gonna get the paints out and get started. So here we have the paint pots and inside you're going to have a sparkle, two whites, a blue, a red, and a yellow. Now you're going to have plenty of paint to finish this painting so don't be afraid to dig in. When you mix the paints, yellow and blue make green and yellow and red make orange. And you can make a nice variety of colors in between by mixing the colors with your paintbrush on the canvas. Um, number one, before you get started, remember in order to cover the thick black line, you must add white to whatever you, color you decide to use. Let dry and use multiple layers. That's probably the most important step in painting these paintings because if you see here, the line is really thick and I do that on purpose. It looks kind of weird, but you'll understand when you see um, what it looks like. So number two, it says start with the eyes and paint a box around the outside of the eye with a fur color. Draw a U shape inside the black box. We'll get to that. So let's start with the body. We're gonna start with the eyes. I think I'm gonna make my bunny rabbit pink. So I'm gonna mix red and um, white together. Take some of the, I'm just gonna dip it out with my, with my um, paintbrush. And I'm going to do a box around the eye. Like that. And I'm going to take another box around the eye. So I made the eyes pretty big. Now I'm going to do a triangle around his little nose. Now notice we're going from dark to light. We're using the black as just like a, an outline as a map, and then I'm making the shapes on top of the black. So I wanna make sure I use enough paint. Now I'm gonna go out into the fur, and I wanna make short, quick strokes that go out into the line. I'm not gonna cover the black line, but I wanna have it to make it look like fur. So I'm gonna fast forward. I'm continuing with the fur all the way around the head. And then um, remember that fur goes out and down. So take nice thin strokes to make individual hairs. Do it lightly with a light stroke and then do multiple layers on top so that you can cover the black but yet get a light, nice touch. Um, and I'm gonna fill in the rest of the bunny. Now remember, as I'm filling in the fur, I want to leave the center of the ear um, hollow so that I can fill it in with white. So notice I'm only painting the pink around the outside of the ear, and then the inside of the ear is going to be white. So you'll see in just a second how it's going to turn out. I don't want to cover all of the black line, and I don't want to have the ear touch and cover the black line that separates the ear from the head. So I'm going to go up and over on both ears filling in with the red and the white with the wispy lines. Don't cover all the black. That's the biggest mistake people make is that they cover the black. We start off with so much black and then they just cover it all, which that's okay because you can always go back in. It's no worries, but just to remember when you're painting, um, don't cover all the black. Now I'm going to do a few layers of this pink on top and you'll see how it'll cover up the black nicely, but then it'll leave like a really cool line um, in the background that you couldn't create any other way.
Okay, so now I'm starting the white in the center of the ear, and as you can see, there's the black line that goes all the way around the outside of the white. I'm going to do the white on the other ear, and I'm using the same wispy line because it's all fur. This little bunny rabbit is nothing but fur. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the heart. I just used a little bit more red and some white. I'm just gonna do the first layer of the heart a little bit lighter to cover the black, and then I'm gonna go in with a darker red. Now I'm just gonna clean my brush, and I'm gonna start off with the background. I'm gonna use blue and yellow and white, and then I'm gonna alternate between the three colors. I'm gonna mix most of the colors right on the canvas. You can see I'm kinda of getting them together on the plate. But mostly I'm using a lot of paint and I'm using the same brush stroke. Against the heart I'm using a straight brush stroke, but then when I go bring the background into the edge of the ear, I'm going to use the short wispy strokes, the same first strokes that I used to make the ear I'm using for the background to come into the ear. So I'm going to finish around the outside of the bunny and at some point I'm going to use um, more yellow than I am blue and white. Other parts I'm going to use more white than yellow and blue. So I want to try to create a flow of the color around the background. In this step, I cleaned out my brush and I'm taking plain white right out of the paint pot and I'm going to paint a U and it is filled in in the middle and I'm going to do a couple layers of the white. This is just the white of the eye and I'm going to do it on both sides. I want to make sure that I leave the black square visible all the way around but yet I want to fill in with the a U. The next step I'm going to use the end of the paintbrush and I'm going to dip it in the white and make white polka dots all the way around the perimeter of the heart. I love to use polka dots they just seem to like add texture and interest to any object whether it be the border or heart um, so I'm just gonna go all the way around. Okay, so now the painting has dried overnight and I got a Sharpie marker. You can use a black pen and unfortunately I accidentally erased the clip where I did it the first time. So I'm just showing you again what I had done before. See that I'd made a black pupil looking to the left. I drew a U and filled it in with the black marker. I also went around um, with the eyelashes. I did the whiskers. Um, I also did the nose and the mouth in the black Sharpie. So here I am just going over it again so I can show you where I actually went with it. Now the Sharpie markers aren't included in the Sparkling Art Painting Party in a Bag, um, but most people have them in their house. So here I'm just touching it up. I'm going to sign it and the next step is the last step and the best step. Okay, so here we're gonna do the highlight in the eyes. I know you could see it in the last clip, but I made that highlight by dipping the end of the paintbrush in the white, and I make sure that I do a dot in the same general area on each eye and the nose. Then I'm gonna go and get my sparkles, and this is the finished step. The final step I'm gonna take Usually when I do the sparkles, um, I'll do like the inside of the ear and you just paint it on like it's paint. And I like to use a lot. There's plenty of sparkles in there so you can make a nice thick layer. I'm going to paint the inside of the heart with the sparkles and then um, his eyebrows as well as you will see in just a second. And that's it. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope you had a lot of fun painting. For more sparkling art painting parties in a bag, please visit nettieprice.com.